Assalamu alaikum. Today, again in the segment, we are going to discuss a new story of Prophet Saleh alayhi salam. Prophet Saleh alayhi salam was a descendant of the great Prophet Nu alayhi salam. May peace be upon him. He was chosen by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to help guide the Jamud people. This was an Asian tribe who settled in Al Hijr, now known as Madani Saleha located in the northern western Arabia. The Jamuda people were success of the previous community called at as we covered in a greater detail in the story of Prophet Hud al-Islam. The people of Ad were an extremely powerful and wealthy nation. They were built physically strong and tall. They were also excellent builders, constructing lofty towers but Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala brought the downfall due to the arrogance when they repeatedly rejected Prophet Hud alayhi salam's warning. The Quran mentions English translation As for Ad, they were arrogant upon the earth without right and said, Who is greater than us in the strength? They did not consider that Allah who created them was greater than, than them, but they were rejected our signs. Surah Fusiliyat The civilization of Ad had completely vanished, leaving no trace of its existence beside what the Quran has mentioned. However, like the Faroons who left behind the pyramids, the buildings and site constructed by the people of Jamud still exists as a sign for us today. English translation Have you not considered who are your Lord there with Ad? Aram who had lofty pillars, the like of whom had never be created in land, and with Jamud who covered out the rocks in the valley, and Pharaoh, owner of the stakes, all of whom operates within the lands and increased there in the corruption. So your Lord poured upon them a scourge of punishments. Surah Fajr. Furthermore, the fifth surah of the Quran is dedicated after the story titled Surah Al Hijr, meaning the stone or the stone plant. This is a reference to how they used to carve their houses, temples, and tombs into the large rocky mountains. As successor of the people of Ad, they knew about Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, and it is believed they originally worshipped one God. But as the society proposed and they achieved material success, the two fell victim to believing in their superiority. The success led them astray. They built castles, statues, and eventually idols to symbolize their power. Instead of sharing the evidence they created, they became greasy and cruel to poor. The Quran mentions the fascination with the worldly life, neglecting the life of the hereafter in Surah Ashur. English translation Do you construct on every elevation a sign, amusing yourselves, and take for yourselves palaces and fortresses that you might abide internally? Now, Prophet Salah wasn't just another man living among the people of Jammu. He made a name for himself, reaching a high standing in society. He had a distinct personality and built a reputation of integrity.
The people of Jammu respected him for his wisdom and greatness. Anwar prepared to appoint him as a leader. It was during this period that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bestowed Saliha with prophethood. With this revelation, Prophet Salih al-Islam began signing his paper for what they were worship, trying to teach them about the Javed, once of God, saying, My people, so Allah, you have no God other than him. He bowed you into being out of the earth and has made you dwell in it. So ask him to forgive you and to turn towards him in repentance. Indeed, my Lord is near, responsive to prayers. Surah Hud, Ayat number 61. The people were disappointed in your Torah. They respected Prophet Salih but disliked his new message. They said, O Salih, you are among us, man of promise. Before this, you forbid us to worship what your fathers worshipped, and indeed we were in disgusting doubt about that to which you invite us. Surah Hud, Ayat number 62. Like the life of Ark of Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, may peace be upon him, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala nurtured his chosen prophet with the good morals to be models of excellent behavior from a young age. However, knew them before the revelations loved and expected them. Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, peace be upon him, before prophethood was known by the entire community by his nickname, Al Amin, meaning the trustworthy. The moment they began arguing people to turn away from their work doing hostilities surfaced, this was the case of Prophet Salih Salah, who was soon to be an appointed leader chosen by the people. But when he received Allah's message, they were disappointed. The people then turned on him, you were among us a man of promise. But not everyone turned their backs of Prophet Salih Salah. There were a few people of modest means who were touched by the sincerity of message. The save the truth. Unlike the elite blended by the glamour of high living and status, in the case, wealth and power actually served as an obstacle, making them resistance to change. It was far easier to dismiss Prophet Salih as a madmar or possess than to comfort their own immoral lifestyle. Salih alayhi salam kept approaching to the German people. He argued with the reason and intelligence slowly, but surely a few more began to follow his message. This worried the others. They feel that the Prophet Salia followers will increase in number. It left unconstituted. So to put him off, they came to him and said, We want to worship the same God as our fathers, but if you are able to produce a miracle, we will believe you are truly a messenger of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. For them, this was obviously a joke. They intended to make the miracle of ridiculous that it all be impossible for him to fulfill. So the leader sat Salih Salam down and demanded, pointing to an enormous rock, split it into two, and from inside to come an extremely large, woolly, and attractive camel. The impressed father adding that it must also be a female, ten months pregnant, and be able to produce milk for the entire town. They laughed as they thought the task would be impossible. But Prophet ﷺ was desperate and determined to bring his people to the path of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So he pleaded with his Lord to grant the people's request and there came the day when Salih Islam gathered his people to witness the coming of miracle. And the Jaman who sent the brother Saya, he said, O oh, my people worship Allah, you have no deity other than him. There has come to you clear evidence from your Lord. This is she, Camel of Allah, sent to you as a sign. So leave her to eat within Allah's land, and do not touch her with harm, lest her seize your a painful punishment. Surah Al Arab, item 73. The she camel was living miracle that caused people to convert to Islam. With a very praising day, the people of Jamud Hal demanded Prophet Salih Ali Salam for the miracle of massive camel with a large appetite and knew it was present. The one condition Prophet Salih Ali Salam warned against was not to harm the sign of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Allow the camel to eat within the land freely and drink from the pawn. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala told his Prophet you're going to send the she camel as a trial for them, so watch them. 
O Salia, and keep patience and tell them the water of the well is to be shared between them and the she camel. So, as a right of having water, she be attended by each alternately. Surah Al Khamar, at number 28. The disbelievers could not no longer bear this. They have asked for a sign from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and now were annoyed by its very presence. The she camel arrival men they had to untrain the animals' feeding and drinking schedules which they found bothersome. They asked for a massive camel, yet complained when it grieved and drank more than their own flocks. When the she camel walked near the other animals, they would run away, frightened by its size and color, but deep down, the hatred for the camel was beyond this superficial reason. Fundamentally, the camel was living symbol, a constant reminder of the president's wrongdoings. The Quran then mentions, when the most wick of them was roast to kill the she camel, the messenger of Allah warned them, Do not disturb Allah's camel and her to turn to drink. Surah Ash-Shams, Ayat number 12 to 30. One of the disbelievers in the town became motivated and began conspiring to bring down the camel. Rallying each other accomplices to his cause, he also secured the support of the entire town, completely ignoring Prophet Salih's warning of self punishments. They set off on their mission. The townspeople saw this a clear victory and cheered loudly for the men. They went on to slaughter the she camel and eat her meat. When Salih al Islam heard of this, he hurried to warn the people, but it was too late. The people mocked him, saying, Oh Salih, bring us what you promise us if you shall be of the messenger. Sally replied, Enjoying yourself in your home for the this day is a promise that will not be denied. So I heard this display was taunted at Sally Ali Salam and asked him to hasten the punishment. Prophet Sally Ali Salam said, O oh my people, why do you seek evil to come sooner before good? Why do you not seek forgiveness from Allah so that you are treated with mercy? They replied, We regard you and those with you as sign of a bad omen. Salih said, Your omen is with Allah, but you are a people put to a test. Surah An Namal, Ayat 46 to 47. The people paid no heed. They were fully committed to the cause of corruption. The nine conspirations conveyed to kill the Prophet next. Take a mutual oath by Allah that we will kill him by night he and his family. Then we will say to his executors, we did not witness the destruction of his family and indeed we are truthful. Surah an -Namal. Meanwhile, Allah had a plan for the people of Jamal. And they planned a plan. And we planned a plan while they perceived not. Surah an -Namal. So he instructed Salih Islam to gather his followers and leave the town. This is a case of all those who ask for miracles and when they revolt and they continue in the deficiency, they are destroyed. Remember when the people ask Isa alayhi salam, O Jesus, son of Mary, will your Lord be willing to send down us to a table spread with food from heaven? Surah Ma'idah, ayat number 112. Isa alayhi salam replied, Fear Allah if you shall be believers. He turned to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala asking for the best food from heaven. Then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala replied, English translation Indeed, I'll send it down to you, but whoever disbelievers afterwards from among you, then indeed will I punish him with a punishment by which I have not punished anyone among the worlds. Surah Maida, ayat number 115. The disbelievers of Jamud had not Ali that day, they had incurred the word of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Meanwhile, Allah grace saved the Prophet Salih and the believers. 
He returned to Al Hijr one day to witness the destruction of his people and said with a heavy heart, "O oh my people, I have certainly conveyed to you the message of my Lord and advised you, but you do not like advisers." Surah Al Araf, Ayat number seventy-nine. day of hijra narrated abdullah his umar while we were going for the battle of tabuk and when we reached the place of the dwellers of al hijra allah messenger sallallahu alaihi wasallam said absolute the dwellers of al hijra to us do not enter the dwelling place of this people unless you enter a weeping but if you weep not then do not enter upon them lest you be affected with what they were affected with Today the science remains from Allah Subhanahu wa ta'ala not for us to enjoy vacation rather we shall return to this place as weeping in the sense it shall be a reminder a lesson to learn from their mistakes narrated Aisha may Allah be, be pleased with her when the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam saw storm clouds he will brace back and forth and when it rained he will relax she said i said something to him about that and he said what do i know maybe it's Allah's most high set and when they save it as a cloud approaching their valley they said this is a cloud bringing us rain but who replied other it is that for which you were impatient a wind within its painful punishment thanks for watching if you like my video please like share and subscribe to my channel